my best moment behind the label was when I told the group something that I've told and trusted virtually no one with. And the acceptance and trust and understanding that came from that, I felt just like the weight of years was off my shoulders, that I didn't have to just have this thing by myself and bear it. That behind the label, I would never tell my story, ever. Everyone knew that I was attacked, but no one wanted to know about it. I am a survivor. I'm gaining more confidence, self-esteem. Yeah, I'm funny, apparently. God is riding on his <laughs> Using my voice and standing up in front of people and laughing at myself. Heidi's riding on her pony, Heidi's riding on her pony. Oh, don't stop. <laughs> it's brought me out a bit more than I expected. I enjoyed everything. I've enjoyed working with Martin, technical director. He's a great role model and uh, I think his sort of techniques and the way that he's taught us about the lighting, the design, the stage building is really awesome. You get to see places at the public, don't generally see. <laughs> Made a lot of new friends as well. It's been all the girls <laughs> and the others. We don't judge each other, we listen, and regardless of what we're suffering or what things seem to be troubling us, we all got each other's backs. But the most important is positive, happy people instead of a drug addicts, drinkers. Hostels. Yeah, having a purpose in the mornings and getting out of bed, you know, and being in an ensemble where I'm, 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 I'm affecting other people's lives. It's not just me anymore. One of the best things is the people I've met. All the staff have been fantastic, but also the people, our ensemble, have, they're the fantastic people, they're just survivors. So if I want to come in, and I'll probably end up back in hospital again through the drink. A lot of people I've known in them 11 years have passed away. A lot. And I'm one of the lucky ones.